Back to the channel. It's Dane Scott from Dane Scott's Truckers Lounge. So this week, as I promised to you last week, I am going to show you the treasure trove of old vintage iron that we ran across when we were on our way to uh, go look at that general in last week's video. And I told you that we passed acres of old equipment. And man, my eyes were bogging out of my head. I was like, we have to come back here. This is killer. So if you would, before we get started here, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe, and stick around town for some great old school truck, vintage iron, and tractors, and bulldozers, and all kinds of stuff. It's 3.59 time. in a nine-speed hood I'd pull it in if I knew I could The old truck stop's been gone a long time So kick it in the rear and put the hammer down Get this show on the road, shall we? Eighteen wheels just laying it down And you can hear that humming sound Pouring coal from a bright chrome stack Ride this off like a Cadillac It's my life, it's my love It's my heat I built 359 I'm watching you guys Welcome back, Dane Scott, Dane Scott's Trucker's Lounge. On our little trip today, we have come across yet another honey hole of old trucks. So check this out. This is incredible. Got a firing order, but it doesn't say what it is. Holy mackerel. <laughs> That's metal. It's a metal cab. Chain drive. Isn't that something? Ooh, there's an R model we need to look at. Looks like it might have been a gold bulldog on there. You, you Mac guys know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. That's a metal cab on there, Wayne, which I was kind of surprised. Oh, Did you see it yeah. chain drive? Yeah. Yeah. Did you just still in it, Wayne? Pardon me? Yeah. He had the hood out okay. here with the. Bulldog on it. Bulldog on Somebody it. stole it. Oh, jeez. Of course they did. The only other one of them I saw was in the Mac Museum in Allentown. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's it really, you know, there's a lot left to it. There really yeah. is. Yep. I'm surprised with all those grass and weeds. That seems to do it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's that's the only reason it's here with metal. Man, that wood would have been gone. But yeah, they're all there. 
amazing those lights are still there. Yeah. Nope, just the one. That's pretty crazy. That's all I know. Man. It's got an aluminum block, Rick. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's a gas here, but it's got an aluminum block. Yeah. That's incredible. Who would have thought? Look at that. Yeah. Got the firing order on it. B319. B319? B310-9. Whatever that means. Yeah. No kidding. That's got to be like 1900 or oh, 1901. Yeah. I mean, that era, doesn't it? I would certainly think so. No Solid disc wheels. I believe that's an old Dodge looking at the wheels. Oh, okay. But I could be wrong. No, it says Chevy. Now, is that what they call the rumble seat? The thing on the back there? No, that's just the back of the... Oh, okay. The back of the body, actually, was yeah. cut off. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Boy, we can't take you anywhere. Oh. <laughs> that's why we can't have nice things. That's why we can't have nice things. This video is brought to you by Brunt, transforming high-performing workwear. Ain't no flip-flops in this truck. This is incredible. This guy has so much equipment. And he just told me it's for sale. <laughs> the magic words. Look at that. It's a 6500 Chevy or Probably Chevy, judging by the, the width of where the emblem was. This is old Ford, Ford Township. Still got the bubble gum on it. How about that? The enormity of this gentleman's property and all this equipment is just mind-blowing. Yep, Chevrolet. 16,000 pound maximum rating. This truck was on the road in 85. Can you believe that one? Look at the glass. The glass is all good, except for the vent window. Looks like we got us a Fleet Star or a Load Star back here. Load Star. And I know a lot of you guys probably know something about all this farm equipment, which I know zero about. Yeah, that's a lodestar. That's awesome. Let's get over there. Sweet. Lodestar sixteen hundred.
this old Ford. This is Americana at its best. These are the vehicles and trucks, equipment that made America great. Let me grab this real quick and then I'll go over there. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. That's got a camel back on it too. That's a nice truck right there. This truck run good when I drove it home. Yeah? <laughs> drove it right here, huh? No, it, it was over. I drove it home years ago, and it, it was over there. We used to have a sawmill over there. It was out in back of the sawmill. I pulled it out of here to, for a guy to... Uh, said he wanted to buy it, but he, he come and looked at it and never made an offer. Oh, those are Mac tags. Oh, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to ask for this one, actually. Right. Must have had a, what, a oh. dump on it or something dump. heavier? Yeah. Heavy dump, yeah, heavy duty dump. Yeah. It had been a tractor at one time. Yeah, that's a beast. Got oh, yeah. How about that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Mac tanks have the... the oh, the indent yeah. on the end. Yeah. yeah. For the rear cab mount. But they would fit in a... DMC? It's probably rusted on the bottom, though. Probably. I wouldn't want to take the chance. Most likely, but... Old cab right there. Oh yeah, <laughs> she got rolled around on the roof. Ain't nothing left of that bad boy. Need a frame to get the tenders off. There's a. Gosh, it's got a turbo on it and everything. Oh, it does? I didn't yeah. even notice that. There's a Ford truck out back there, an orange one. You might have the origin of this truck. No matter what driver you put in it. Look here. Smoke, put uh, the top marker laid up on the trailer in just a few miles. Erskine. The seven miles a gallon. And one had uh, over a million miles when we got rid of it. The other one was, we had to... Uh, I cracked the head at 850. But they were Put on it too. Yeah, I always had 237 and a 5 speed. Yep, yep, yep. That was the one you had to be patient to shift. Pull it out of gear, adjust the mirror to the and pull it into gear. Yep. It's a dozer for you, Alice Chalmers. You all colors. F600. 
Kind of a beast. Look at these tractors. There's a D4 cat. Things complete. Look at this old guy. He met a demise. Old army truck. what this is I don't even know what this truck is no markings V8, might be a Ford, hard to tell. Wow. That's incredible. Alice Chalmers. Gotta be an Alex Chalmers tape. He's got a lot of that equipment around here. Yeah. Still an engine tag on Let's go scope out that Mac. Old U model, U600 Mac. Hey, we got a realistic CB still in there. Is that awesome or what?
So you guys remember this, don't you? Yeah, the upcoming GMC Jamboree Truck Show, June 3rd, right here in Conneaut, Ohio, near the Trucker's Lounge. So as I've been saying, get your calendar marked, get your plans made. The Days in right across the street from it is given 10% off, and the numbers are down in the comments. The campground, Evergreen Lake Park, which is right around the corner from where we're having the show, also is given 10% off on all you who want to do some camping. So get your arrangements made. We're running out of time. June 3rd is coming real quick. Yeah, you guys see it right there. The GMC Jamboree first annual truck show right here. It's going to be killer. And also, right around the corner from that show date will be the end of the month, June, will be the Ohio Vintage Truck Reunion at the Ashland County Fairgrounds, Ashland, Ohio. Another killer show, and they've been doing that show for years. So I'm just starting the Jamboree. This is the first year for it, so it's going to be great. But, but there's the scoop on two great truck shows. And please, I must say, I want to see you at the GMC Jamboree. Ford N-Series cab back there. Look at this fire truck. Holy moly. What in the world is that? That's incredible. It's a big truck. La France. American La France. Isn't that something? Frittinger Feed Coal Lumber, Middlefield, Ohio. That's an Ohio truck. We're not in Ohio. What is this, Dave? International 450 In engine there. And what do they call this? This is well, obviously an army. Half track. Half track? What year would you say this is? They made them for up to about 45 or 6. Wow. Isn't that something? So they would power them with different different mo engines, or uh, What's that? well, you said this is an international. Did they did were there other companies that that made these, or was it just the running the yeah. drivetrain? White White made them and uh, White trucks and uh, international and. Uh, Three, three, three times maybe. What is this? This looks promising here. That's an F8 Ford. F8 Ford? I see an N series over there. Wow. That's a tractor too. It had a dump on it last. Did it? Oh, okay. That's a big boy.
She's pretty complete. That's probably 69-ish, uh, 68-ish, maybe the 70s. I think that was early 70s. Yeah. I got tighter somewhere. Yeah. Little square body over there. Yeah. I gotta tell you guys, we didn't even scratch the surface of what's there. I'm telling you, there's tons more. So we're gonna have to plan a return trip. But if you guys are interested in anything you saw in this video, you can uh, email me, it's on the channel there, or you can private message me through Facebook on Private Messenger, and I will put you in touch with the guy that owns the property, because he's anxious to sell stuff. You can tell he's getting up in years and he wants to get things uh, taken care of, shall we say, because there's a lot there to take care of. So listen, if you like old trucks, old school trucking, memorabilia, talking to the drivers that made it happen, you're in the right place. So make sure you like and subscribe, and hey, keep the hammer down, safe and sound.